Are you tired of ending your day with achy, swollen ankles that just won't quit? You're not alone in this struggle. But there is good news. Nature has a solution, and the best part? It comes in the form of a warm, comforting mug of herbal goodness. In this video, we'll reveal the best herbal blends to soothe those puffy ankles and get you back on your feet. Let's ditch the pain and brew up some relaxation. Number 1. Chamomile Tea Chamomile contains compounds like flavonoids and terpenoids. These fancy names basically mean it's got some serious anti-inflammatory properties. When you've got swollen ankles and feet, it's usually because of inflammation. Like your body's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. Chamomile reduces that inflammation and provides relief. But wait, there's more. Sometimes your body holds too much water, leading to swollen ankles and feet. That's where chamomile tea steps in with its natural diuretic effect. In simple terms, it helps you pee more. And when you pee more, you're saying bye-bye to that excess fluid in your body. Now let's dive into some science stuff. A study in the Journal of Pharmacopuncture showed that chamomile extract can block the production of prostaglandins. Those are compounds that fuel inflammation. So by blocking them, chamomile helps reduce both pain and swelling. Number 2. Fennel Tea Fennel contains compounds called phytoestrogens and antioxidants. Now, don't worry, those big words aren't as scary as they sound. Phytoestrogens are like little helpers that can ease inflammation, while antioxidants are the superheroes that fight annoying molecules called free radicals, which can make swelling worse. Also, a study published in the Journal of Food Science and Nutrition found that fennel extract helped reduce swelling and inflammation in rats. Now, I know what you're thinking, I'm not a rat! Fair point, but hey, it's a good sign that fennel might work wonders for humans too. And here's a fun fact, ancient Greeks and Romans thought fennel was so awesome that they used it as a symbol of strength and bravery, believing it could ward off evil spirits. How cool is that? So next time you see fennel, remember it's not just a spice, it's like a natural superhero for your body. Number 3. Turmeric Tea It's all about curcumin the powerhouse compound that gives turmeric its vibrant color and powerful anti-inflammatory properties. When inflammation strikes, whether it's from overexertion, injury, or just the daily grind, curcumin steps up to calm things down. There's this study in the journal Molecules that found curcumin can inhibit enzymes involved in inflammation pathways. And when you're whipping up some comforting turmeric tea, don't forget to sprinkle in a dash of black pepper. Why? Because when you mix turmeric with black pepper, it's like creating a turbo boost for your body's absorption of curcumin. Black pepper has this cool compound called piperine that teams up with curcumin to make sure your body gets the full dose of its superpowers. Number 4. Celery Seed Tea Celery seed tea might sound like a weird choice for soothing swollen ankles and feet, but trust me, it's a hidden gem in the herbal world. Ever heard of uric acid? It's the annoying compound that can build up in your body, causing inflammation and, you guessed it, swollen ankles. But don't worry, because celery seed tea swoops in to save the day. These tiny seeds contain compounds that help your body break down uric acid, flushing it out and relieving that uncomfortable swelling. Celery seed tea is also a natural source of antioxidants. These little warriors combat oxidative stress in your body, which can contribute to inflammation and swelling. Now onto the taste. It has a unique flavor that's both earthy and slightly bitter. Some people enjoy it as it is, while others like to add a touch of honey or lemon to sweeten it up a bit. Either way, it's a refreshing and soothing drink that you'll surely love. Number 5. Parsley Tea When you sip on a warm mug of parsley tea, you are inviting apiol, its key ingredient, into your system. This compound is like a superhero for your kidneys. It heads straight to these vital organs, which act as your body's filtration system. Once there, Apiol gives your kidneys a gentle push, encouraging them to filter out more water than usual. It also helps balance out sodium levels in your body, thanks to parsley's potassium content. By keeping sodium in check, parsley prevents further water retention, ensuring a more balanced fluid environment within your body. Sometimes your body holds on to extra water because of hormonal imbalances, especially when estrogen levels fluctuate. This can happen during different phases of your menstrual cycle or due to other hormonal changes. Parsley helps your body regulate those estrogen levels, preventing them from going messy and causing water retention. Now, when making parsley tea, go for the fresh one instead of a dried up version of parsley. 
Fresh parsley's got more of the good stuff, like oils and nutrients, so you are getting all the benefits without missing out. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video. Number 6. Ginger Tea Ginger contains compounds that act as natural blood thinners, so it prevents blood from clotting too much, which can restrict circulation. This improved circulation means that excess fluid, which causes swelling, can be moved out of those puffy areas more efficiently. Moreover, ginger stimulates the production of nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is a molecule that plays a key role in dilating blood vessels, making it easier for blood to flow through. Now onto the process of making ginger tea. You can use either fresh ginger root or ginger powder, depending on what you have on hand. If you're using fresh ginger, simply peel and slice a small piece of the root, about an inch or so. Then add it to a pot of boiling water for 5 to 10 minutes. If you're using ginger powder, just add a teaspoon to a cup of hot water and stir until dissolved. Feel free to customize your ginger tea with a squeeze of lemon or a drizzle of honey for added flavor and health benefits. Number 7. Dandelion Tea Dandelion is packed with potassium, a mineral that helps balance the sodium levels in your body. Sodium is the culprit behind water retention. Too much of it and you end up feeling all bloated and swollen. By regulating sodium levels, dandelion tea reduces swelling and puffiness in your ankles and feet. Studies have shown that dandelion extract can increase urine production, which is exactly what you want when dealing with swollen ankles and feet. So next time you spot those bright yellow blooms popping up in your yard, don't just think of them as annoying weeds, think of them as nature's little helpers, ready to soothe your swollen ankles and nourish your body from the inside. It's amazing what Mother Nature can do, isn't it? Now, if you're going the DIY route and picking your own dandelions, make sure they're from a clean, pesticide-free area. You don't want any extra nasties sneaking into your soothing tea. Number 8. Peppermint Tea Peppermint is loaded with menthol, the magical compound responsible for that signature minty flavor and cooling sensation. When you drink peppermint tea, that menthol works its way through your body, relaxing your muscles and improving blood circulation. Plus, peppermint tea has natural anti-inflammatory properties thanks to compounds like rosmarinic acid and flavonoids. These guys work together to calm down inflammation and ease swelling. Also, studies have shown that menthol has a cooling effect on the skin, which can help reduce the sensation of pain and discomfort associated with swollen ankles and feet. So, for an extra soothing treat, try soaking your feet in a basin of warm water infused with peppermint oil or brewed peppermint tea. It's like giving your feet a spa day right in the comfort of your own home. Number 9. Hibiscus Tea Ever heard of anthocyanins? They're these powerful antioxidants found in hibiscus flowers. These little warriors not only give hibiscus its gorgeous color, but also help fight inflammation and reduce pain. So while you're sipping on that delicious hibiscus tea, those anthocyanins are working behind the scenes to reduce discomfort in your ankles and feet. Hibiscus tea also has lots of vitamin C. Now why does that matter? Well, vitamin C is essential for collagen production, which plays a crucial role in maintaining the health of your skin and blood vessels. By keeping your blood vessels strong and resilient, hibiscus tea prevents fluid from leaking out into surrounding tissues, further reducing swelling and promoting overall foot comfort. So go ahead, pour yourself a cup of hibiscus tea and let its vibrant color brighten your day. With its tangy and slightly tart flavor profile, it offers a refreshing experience with every sip. Number 10. Grape Leaf Tea Grape leaves have something called quercetin in them, which is a natural helper that fights inflammation and makes you feel better. It also relaxes your blood vessels, allowing blood to flow more freely. This means that excess fluid gets pumped out of those swollen areas, bringing down the puffiness and discomfort. Grape leaves also contain compounds like catechins and tannins. These guys have pain-relieving properties, so not only does it reduce swelling, but it also eases the pain and discomfort that comes with swollen ankles and feet. Now, when it comes to usage, grape leaf tea is incredibly versatile. You can enjoy it as a simple, standalone beverage, or get creative and incorporate it into various recipes like smoothies or cocktails. You can even infuse it into soups, stews, and sauces for a subtle depth of flavor. So it isn't just good for you, but also fun to experiment with in the kitchen. 
So when it comes to soothing those achy, swollen ankles, nature truly has our backs. From the calming effects of chamomile to the refreshing burst of peppermint, there's an herbal remedy for everyone. But before you dive into your new tea routine, remember a few key things. Firstly, moderation is key. While these herbal teas can work wonders, it's essential not to overdo it. Too much of a good thing can sometimes have adverse effects, so listen to your body and give it the rest it needs. Secondly, watch out for added sugars or sweeteners. Sure, a little honey or lemon can enhance the flavor of your tea, but loading it up with sugar defeats the purpose of using natural remedies. Keep it simple and let the herbs do their job without unnecessary additives. So let's raise our mugs to better days ahead. Ones filled with less pain, more relaxation, and a whole lot of herbal goodness. Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!